I want to show you two different ways to do a piecewise function in Desmos. In the first one, we are going to plot this piecewise function in separate parts. So let's go ahead and put the first part in here. I'm going to grab an empty cell by clicking in it. And then I'm going to define this first piece as f of x. And we'll say that this one is equal to x minus 3. But this one is only when x is less than 2. So for that portion, I'm going to use my set brackets. So my set brackets are right above on your keypad, right above like the return key or the quote key. I need to do shift to get to those set brackets. And this is x less than 2. And I'll close those set brackets. So you can see that I've got just that first piece. This is the first way to do it. The next one will combine all of these together. We've got a middle piece as well. I'm going to name that one G of X, grabbing a second cell. And this one is equal to the constant 3. So this one is equal to 3, but this is between the values of 2 and 5. So I again want those set brackets, so above the quotation key there. And this one starts at 2, and it includes 2, so less than or equal to. I'm going to type my less than symbol and then my equals and it automatically turns into that symbol. So less than, now I type equals and it automatically gives me less than or equals. Super nice. And then x is, this is going to be less than, whoops, it's going to be less than 5 and you can close those set brackets. For this last one, I want to click on another empty cell right below there, and we're going to call this guy h of x. So h of x is equal to, and this one is negative x plus 6, but we want this just for x greater than 5. So I want my set brackets again, and then x strictly greater than 5, and then I'll close that. Next, I want to get the endpoints to be either an open circle if they're not included or a closed circle if they are included. And it takes just a little bit of finagling to get each of those points. So for this x minus 3 function, our f of x, the red function, my boundary is at 2, and I know that 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. So this point right here is at 2 comma negative 1. So 2 comma negative 1 parenthesis. I've got my point there, but because of that strict less than, this one is not included. I'm going to click and hold on the circle which is next to that point, and I'm going to change this to an open circle. So I've got my open circle there. Next for my blue graph, this is my g of x. Now it is included there at 2, and if I plug it into 2, so I can, well actually everything's equal to 3, right? So at 2 comma 3. I get this one and it is included. So I do want to leave that one as a closed circle. My next endpoint is here at 5. This is my constant 3. So this is at 5 comma 3. This one is not included. So I'm going to click and hold on this one. I want it to be blue and I'm not including it. So I'm going to make that an open circle. And then finally for that last point, that last point lives on h of x and it happens to be at 5. So when I plug 5 into my function, I end up with negative 5 plus 6, which is equal to 1. So at the end point x equals 5, I have a value of 1. Now this one is a strict inequality, so it's not included. I'm going to click and hold on this one. It is the right color, and I want to change this to an open circle. Okay, next I want to show you how to put this piecewise function in in a single step. I'm going to delete each of these and we just need a different format and our format is condition colon function or condition colon definition. So I'm going to grab an empty cell and let's just define that single function defined piecewise. So f of x is equal to, I'm going to contain this in our set bracket. So grabbing that set bracket, I put in my first condition and the format here is condition colon definition. So my first condition was x is less than 2. That was my first region. And then I put my colon in and the function that I had there was x minus 3. So I've got that first portion and then comma. And now I want my next condition. And my next condition was x was between 2 and 5. So 2 
less than or equal to automatically changes my symbol there. X strictly less than five colon. My definition here was three comma. And then for my last one, my last condition is X greater than or equal to five colon. And this last one was negative X plus six plus six. Now, the only thing that we're missing here, of course, are those points. And you would put those points in just as you had done before. So much more to learn about Desmos. Check out this next video.